If you clicked on this video today, you're probably interested in creating a true first person character inside of Unreal Engine. Now what we're going to be doing is focusing on the main and most important part of any true first person character, the camera. And what I'm going to be showing you is the simplest and easiest method you can use to create a true first person camera inside the engine. Grab a coffee and let's get started. Okay, so first things first, let's create a brand new project. We're going to click games, third person and rename it to true FPS. Enable the starter content and then let's get going. We open up the engine and once we're inside, we're going to press control and space on our keyboard to open up the content browser. Then we're going to go to content, third person, blueprints and BP third person character. This is the blueprint we're going to be working with. Right, okay, so let's select the camera and then we're going to delete the actual follow camera and we're going to delete the camera boom as well. Then with the mesh selected, let's search for camera after clicking add to add a new camera. Rename this true FPS cam and make sure it is parented to the mesh. So you can see it's a child here. Okay, sweet. Next, it'll give us the option to click this little folder icon. And what this does is ask for a parent socket. So if we can give it any socket we want right now, if we give it car, for example, this is where the camera will be attached to on the mesh. So the camera is a child of the mesh, but it's attached to this socket and it will rotate and inherit, say, the breathing animations. So let's change it to head. And now, anytime we run, anytime we breathe or do anything, the camera will inherit the movement from the head. Sweet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to mess about with some values and I'm going to show you how you can debug this so you get absolutely no clipping. With this camera selected, let's just rename it again to true FPS cam because for some reason it changed. And yeah, let's change some of the settings. Like I was saying, I have followed other videos in the past for myself, not for like YouTube, just to learn myself. And every time I found that the camera was clipping, so I just had to find a way to stop it from doing it. With that said, let's actually get on to changing some of these values. Now, I've got some notes on my phone, which I'm actually looking at while I record this. And these are the values that I've written down for this tutorial. Now, it's a little bit off center. So we're actually going to change this. And I'm pretty sure we need to change the location by 20. One second. Let's try 10, 20 and 0. Let's try that and press enter. By the way, if you turn real time off, just like I did, so we don't get the animations in the way, you have to press enter every single time to update the viewport. And as you can see, this looks pretty cool, but the movement is all junked up and it's a complete mess, basically. We need to enable two settings inside the third person character and inside the follow camera. As well, I want to change the FOV. So the FOV, what it's gonna do for us it's going to give the appearance that we're running faster than we are. So it doesn't look as stiff. Okay. And now if you're using a first person character or a true first person character for a horror game, I would recommend having your FOV low. Okay. So that's with the FOV a little bit higher. Now here's a little trick I like to do. And this is how we're going to debug it. So we're going to drag our player into the map and pin it by clicking the little pin icon. And now we can actually move our camera in real time and see what it would look like inside our game. And this is the way you can fine tune it and get the perfect, perfect location and rotation for your true first person camera. So I'm just going to change the FOV. Let's do big and small and let's just find something in the middle. I think around one... 30, 120, let's try this. And as you can see, we can move it and adjust it like that. So there's no clipping, just like this. And that looks pretty good. If you're wondering where my details and my world settings and everything are, I've actually docked them. If you click on the right side and press right click, you can actually just dock any anything you want really. And I just always have it docked on the side when I'm making videos. It just gives me a little bit more space to work with. Just a little, a little tip for you. <laughs> and let's 
change these two settings I was talking about. So use pawn control rotation is the first setting and that is on your true first person camera. Make sure that's selected and that'll give us the ability to look up and down just like this. But as you can see, we are having two issues. One, the player's body is not really following the camera properly and we're getting clipping through the neck, which we do not want because it looks so ugly. And I'll show you how to fix both of these right now. So the second setting with the BP per person character selected, we've got to click on use controller rotation your. And now the player's body will follow the camera and it enables us to strafe if we have the animations, which we don't, but we'll add that on a later video. Don't worry about that. We're just focused on the camera right now. We want to make it perfect. So as you can see, it looks pretty good, but we also need to change this clipping issue. So how can we fix this clipping issue in real time? Well, we can click our player and click pin on the camera and then we can drag out our little viewport here and we can adjust the settings in real time. And what I mean by this is basically what we did a minute ago, but we're just going to change the rotation. So the, the camera was parented to the head. And as you see, when we rotate it, it always rotates around the head. And this is what we were seeing in the right bottom corner where the camera was clipping into our player. So if I just change this value to 180 and turn on real time again, and let's just move this a little bit out here. Um, one minute, just like this. So we've got a value of 10, 20, 23 whatever 24 and 0 for the location and you can see we can actually fix this clipping issue when we walk down so just about here probably there looks pretty good to me and then we can just change the rotation back to normal and now when we compile minimize and click play when we look down we will have no clipping and that's just because we tested it in real time As you've seen there, when I actually jump and look up, we're getting still some clipping. And this is what I had the issue with when I was following tutorials on YouTube. And this is what prompted me to make this video is the head was clipping when we were jumping or any type of movement or animation we're playing. We don't want that. So we're going to fix that. Okay. So to fix this issue we're having when we jump or we land, I'm going to change the FOV to begin with because I want to have a higher FOV. I think it looks good when you have an FPS with high off of I think it looks faster. The gameplay looks smoother. I'm going to change the rotation to 180 and then change the field of view. Like I said, I'm going to change it to like, I don't know, 130, 135. That'll do. If you change your FOV and you have a different one than me, you might have to adjust it manually, just like I'm doing. And if we click play, look down, we get a little bit of clipping, but we can still sort this out. This is the issue I want to fix though. We can still see the top of the player's head when we look up. So let's do that. Okay, so let's use the same exact method we used earlier. Right, okay, so I believe the value is zero that we need to find. And if we just rotate it like this, we can see on the right hand side, the uh, value is changing. So let's just change this to zero. So we're looking up and this is where we were seeing the head clipping. Now to fix this, what do we need to do? We need to just drag the camera over to the right hand side just like this let go and compile and it should update the camera and now if we click play we look down we get no clipping we've got our true first person camera and even if we jump we're not clipping through anything and if we look up okay maybe we're still getting a little bit of clipping and why is that that is because i completely forgot to change the fov back to 130 instead of 135 <laughs> So if you're interested in the final values, it's going to be location 10, 26, 0, minus 90, 0, and 90. That'll be the final values that I'm using right now. And we can look up, we can look down, use any animation we want. And we have a true first person camera inside of Unreal Engine. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you learned something new and I hope it was easy to follow. I'll catch you next time. Also, make sure you check out the environment. It's sick. And I uploaded it the other day. <laughs> Go check it out.